to determine the equivalent resistance of two resistors when connected in series. Apparatus required Dry cell with terminals G6 Everready cell 10 pieces of insulated thick copper wire with bare ends Single key or one-way key Ammeter Voltmeter Rheostat 10 ohm Two known resistors A and B of resistance 1 ohm and 2 ohm respectively Sandpaper Procedure Rub the bare ends of the connecting wires with sandpaper so that bright shining copper metal is seen. Remove the plug from the one-way key K. Connect tightly the key to the ammeter, rheostat of 10 ohm only. Known resistors A and B of 1 ohm and 2 ohm respectively in the series with the help of connecting wires to the dry cell. Connect a voltmeter in parallel to the combination of resistors A and B in series. Make sure that positive and negative terminals of voltmeter and ammeter are connected properly. If there is a zero error in ammeter and voltmeter, Correct it by adjusting the adjustment screw. Insert the plug key and check that voltmeter and ammeter show deflection. Adjust the slider of the rheostat such that the ammeter shows deflection of 0 0.15 ampere. Read the value of potential difference from the voltmeter. Now, adjust the slider of the rheostat such that the ammeter shows a current of 0 0.20 ampere. Read and record the values of potential difference and the current. Repeat the experiment four times more for the current value of 0 0.25 ampere. zero point three zero ampere zero point three five ampere and zero point four zero ampere in each case read and record the potential difference Calculate average resistance of resistors A and B. Mean resistance of resistors A and B connected in series equals total number of resistance in each case upon number of cases. Conclusion The mean resistance of resistors A and B is equal to the sum total of the individual resistances of the resistors A and B.